Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, the tempest toast to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. No, no, no. I am not displaying my artistic talents in front of you. These are the words etched on the pedestal of the legendary statue, the Statue of Liberty. Do you know it was a gift from the people of France commemorating the French-American alliance during the American Revolutionary War? Yep, it was not made in the United States. Well, wait. Let me get you some more information about this 300 feet wonder with this video. In this video, we will discuss some facts about the legendary Statue of Liberty. Lady Liberty, Mother of Freedom, the Green Goddess. No matter what you call it, the Statue of Liberty is a symbol of freedom that's synonymous with the United States. Not only is it iconic in its profile against the backdrop of New York City, it's also a symbol for everything that America stands for. For decades, it's been one of the first things people see when they immigrate to this country, the stalwart guardian of the New York Harbor. The Statue of Liberty is a patriotic American landmark that most people can easily identify. You probably know it's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, but there may be some other facts that are new to you. For instance, did you know that the statue was a gift from France or that it was originally bronze? Interesting, right? Well, I have some more. Here we go. Number 1. France and the United States joined forces to create the Statue of Liberty. The statue was created to show their friendship. And in 1865, the idea of a statue was proposed by the French historian Edouard de la Boulay for France to give to the United States to celebrate democracy. The French handled the statue construction and assembly while the Americans would build the pedestal. Due to the need for both the sides to raise money to build the statue, there was a decade between the statue proposal and the start of construction. During that decade, there were multiple instances where the statue almost wasn't raised. But through the generosity of several million benefactors and the persistence of the government, Lady Liberty eventually took her place in the New York Harbour. Number 2. The Statue of Liberty was built in France and reassembled on Liberty Island. French sculptor Frederick Auguste Bartholdi began constructing the Statue of Liberty in 1875 and completed building the portion in 1885. Bartholdi was responsible for creating the copper statue, while Alexander Gustave Eiffel of the famed Eiffel Tower designed the statue's steel framework. After the statue was finished, it was disassembled and shipped to the United States in crates, which arrived in June 1885. For the next four months, workers in United States reassembled the statue and placed it on the pedestal that was created at Fort Wood on Liberty Island. The finished product resulted in the Statue of Liberty, standing 305 feet tall, overlooking the New York Harbor. Number 3. President Grover Cleveland held an official dedication ceremony. The Statue of Liberty was formally introduced on October 28, 1886, when President Grover Cleveland held the official dedication ceremony, which took place in front of a large crowd of individuals who came out to celebrate the presence and meaning of the new patriotic statue. The statue was an instant hit and people from nearby New York and across the country came to see it in all its splendour. It wasn't long after that it became a central tourist attraction and a point of pride for New York and the country as a whole. Number 4. Statue renovations took place in 1984. As with any monument or patriotic statue, the Statue of Liberty needed some upkeep to maintain its beautiful aesthetics. In 1984, the Statue of Liberty underwent massive renovations to get it back to its original luster and beauty. Interestingly enough, the green patina that formed as the result of copper oxidation was kept. By this time, the statue was well regarded for its greenish hue and restoration experts recommended the government to keep it that way. Although you might know that the Statue of Liberty is a patriotic and historical landmark, it also stands for freedom and democracy. When individuals came to America from other countries and arrived at Ellis Island, Lady Liberty was certain to be an awe-inspiring vision. 
The Statue of Liberty was a symbol of freedom and democracy back then and still holds this symbolism today. As thousands of people make their way to live the American dream, they are greeted with the Statue of Liberty and assured a place in the fast-running country of millions of ambitions. And while we are on the topic of dreams, you hold the power to turn our dreams of having more viewers come true. So, you know the drill. Please subscribe to our channel, comment your views, like our videos and share them with fellow enthusiasts. And until we meet next, stay curious, stay awesome. Volt of Vogue's signing off.